Good morning, guys. Welcome to All Things Peggy. I'm Peggy, and there's my honey bunny, the Don. <laughs> That's me. We are coming to you from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. This is... Tinker Air Force Base. Tinker Air Force Base. We have never been to Oklahoma a day in our life, so I'm excited about getting out and checking out the place. So, again, I was telling you guys that this place you cannot reserve... They have about, I want to say 40 spots, maybe. Yeah, maybe 30. 30 or 40 spots. Really nice. They have a pond up here. So, well, Donald and I are just going out for a walk this morning. Yeah. Stretch our legs. <laughs> what was that sound? That's somebody out that way. Like a, you sure that wasn't our RV? I'm positive. I mean, I know I want a fifth wheel, but I didn't want that one to go away like that. <laughs> Y'all notice I say fifth wheel in every video. Yes. We have decided nothing. So anyway, we have to get out early. It feels like it's about 70-ish, like yeah. 78, almost 80 degrees already. Yeah. So... We found, well, we saw some people walking yesterday, so we don't know what we're doing. So we're going to start the same path they went on. I, was, I saw them go across here, and there's a little sign with a map. So if you guys can see, here's the lake area right here, right? There's a guy out there. There's a guy out there fishing already. So this is the pond. I don't know what Oklahoma is known for. What? So we're looking at the path yep. here. Length of trail, 3.3 miles. We should do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's saying that people can jog here, rollerblade skating, bicycle fish, and wildlife viewing. So wildlife. what kind of what kind of wildlife are we going to view? Well, there's a beaver pond uh -huh. and a redbud pond. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so I am I'm going to give this to Donald because if anything comes out, <laughs> I'm taking off because you guys have to see this path. Ooh, I feel like saying lions and tigers and bears. Oh Ooh, my. Right. Maybe we should get our bikes the first time. You don't think so? No. Because I can't run fast enough. Here, <laughs> I, got, I hear something in the bushes. I got you covered. Ooh. I got you covered, babe. <laughs> so we see something interesting on the path, fam. Uh, we'll let you know. But there she is. <laughs> She's moving out. All right, fam. Do it for real. There's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up. Add it up. Bank roll. Bank roll. Euro. Euro. Peso. Peso. Add it up. Add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up. Add it up. Bank roll. Bank roll. Euro. Euro. Peso. Peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? me everything is on me going back it up matter what told you i'ma do me why you hating on me it's not adding up i do roll like a mac truck country heart i'm a cop a farm and go act up a lot of scars i was cold hearted now i'm backed up keep it real i do this once a month i don't rap much i just take the money and go stack up only buying car heart car car to get tatted up all that other bull it don't matter much you only climb me i put the ladders up no fault I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything. 
everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll, euro, peso, peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up. Told her if it's all me, everything is on me. Go and back it up. Hey guys, so we did about three and a half miles. Yeah. It's pretty good. Got in some pretty views. I'm sure you'll <laughs> see where we walk through the housing area and everything. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened to us yesterday when we first came on post. I was so, <laughs> I was a little embarrassed, yeah. okay? So when you come on to Tinker, I would suggest that you go to the 59th Street exit. That's the only exit you should try <laughs> if you have anything over a F-150, period. Because the road is windy coming through post. It's like a snake in the ground, like an S mm -hmm. in the ground. With concrete on both sides of the S. So you can't yeah. like run over it or anything. No, so if you come here, 59th Street uh, entrance, you'll thank me later because we got stuck. Yeah. Right? And so as soon as down, because it looked wide enough for us to go, but you got to remember you're packing this big travel trailer behind us. So he said, baby, I'm stuck. <laughs> and I was like, why did the guy even let us attempt to go through yeah, there? That's a great question. And then afterwards, he was like, well, yeah, most people take their trailers through the 59th Street exit. And I'm like, why didn't you tell us? <laughs> so Donald had to back out oh, of the S. Which that was took, hard. <laughs> that was rough, okay? But then not only that, the entrance to the gate was small. Mm -hmm. So... We had to back up and try to turn the trailer around, which was impossible. So they had to stop traffic both sides until we figured out how to do it. Yeah. Took us another 10 minutes to figure it out, but we, but Donald figured it out. So he, he had to back it all the way up to the street and then come back in and make a U-turn and come back out. And I was just like, I quit. I'm not doing this no more. You know, I quit every week. She quit every week. But lesson learned. So now when we make reservations for these places, because you have to write this stuff down and you'll forget the questions that you have to ask. You want to know if you're getting full hookups. You want to know if you're getting Wi-Fi. Uh, you want to know if you're getting laundry room, all of that. Like the last place we left didn't have anything. It just had a place to park. And it was really nice to me though. Yeah. Like if they added those few amenities, it would be even nicer. We were only able to pull up four channels because as you know, we get antenna TV for right now until we find something affordable because I don't want to lock myself into something that we're not going to use. So right now we're looking at satellite TV, but don't know. We don't know right now what we're going to do because... Y'all know I want to upgrade. So yeah, I just exactly. want to wait and see before I pick up another bill because the internet that you get at most of these RV sites is really good. Especially if you have a smart TV. I can watch all my TV shows and stuff like that. Anyway, <laughs> what I was saying is you want to <laughs> ask the questions. Do you want us to go through the main gate? Mm -hmm. Like what gate should RVs come through? Yeah. Like, even though you would think that because a lot of these military bases we've never heard of or been to because who knew Texas had 17 military bases? Yeah. I didn't know that. Did you? I did not know that. Okay. Uh, so some of them are going to be big. Some of them are going to be small. Some of them are going to have like the security snakes in the ground. Uh, some of them will frisk you coming in and coming out. <laughs> like we, we did. We had one base where they came on your trailer and looked inside to make yeah. sure you weren't doing some illegal stuff. So, I, you don't ask that though because <laughs> that, that's really weird. Like, am I going to be frisked, frisked coming in? No, yeah. you don't ask that kind of stuff. But I, I, but I will add to ask 
which which is the best gate? Which gate do you recommend? Because even though we called the RV area, she did, they asked have, everywhere you call, they say, "Have you stayed here before?" And you say, "No." To me, at that point, they should say, "Okay, you've never stayed here before. The best way to come in is gate on 59th Street or whatever else." Like to me. But the lady that works there, she's there 24-7, so I think she's like the camp host slash secretary, like she handles that part of it. Yeah. She's very nice, very detailed, like she's on top of everything. Yeah. I like her, like she came by this morning and told us, she was like, since you guys are new, I just want to let you know you need to roll your RV, I mean your... Um, Awning. You're awning in because they're getting ready to cut the grass. Anyway, we're just starting to gather our list of questions to ask. Now, next week, well, this week, no, next week we'll be in Texas. But we have to stay off post or possible boondock one night. Yeah. So I don't know how that's going to go. We're just going to welcome it. That's all we can do. Oh, they got a nice, I'm, I'm all over the place again, but they got a nice commissary and a nice exchange. I'm going to go to both. Y'all know what? I want to, <laughs> don't have to laugh at me. I want to buy me some Crocs. I just think they would be so comfortable. I want to go in there and see if they have Crocs. What do you think? Well, I need to go in there and give me some more underwear. You don't share that with the family. Oh. See how he is. See how he is. You can't take him nowhere. Mm. How about he need underwear? I need more underwear. We got our walk in. We're coming to get this week's grocery. Look, I am on a budget because I am getting a fifth wheel for Christmas or before. So I'm putting myself on a strict budget. So like we already got our pantry food and stuff. I feel comfortable with that. So we're just going to buy food that we're going to eat for the week. So we're going to go in here and, you know, just probably buy lunch meats and stuff like that so that we can have a quick sandwich because it's too hot to be eating it. Let me tell you something. Tell me something. Yesterday in that RV. Now, normally when we are driving and we finally arrive to our spot, it's all for some, it's weird to me, but it's always 88 degrees for some reason in the RV. Never fails. It always reads 88 degrees. You know what it read yesterday? 91. Not only did it read 91, the RV got up to 94 degrees. Yeah. I wanted to cry. So we stripped down and put the fans on. That did no good. But right at 7 o'clock, it starts to cool off. And so it, we got it down to 73. And that's where it's going to stay. So I'm hoping that if we keep it at 74, 75, because when it reads 80, it's not really hot in there. But yesterday yeah. it read 91. And I was just like, this is unbearable. I'm like, Don Donald had to go get ice. I was so hot yesterday. Yeah. But I think it was because we were moving all day. That was a we were we drove for six and a half hours yesterday. Yeah. So the trailer was hot. And it was the hottest part of the day when we got there. We got there like at three, three o'clock. And it was just hot. There was like when you felt the air conditioner the air was cool coming in and I promise you it was cool air it just wouldn't just so that's it. why when, when I get me a fifth wheel I need to make sure it has two air conditioner units we only have one the bedroom does not get as cold as it needs to be I probably already said that in another video but I'm just you, you could tell how it weighs on me because I'm a woman of a particular age and we go through things and we get hot sometimes. So I'm getting me a fifth wheel, y'all. It's just a matter of when. I think I will get it December. But we'll see. We'll see. We gotta see what God says. There you go. I have a plan, but he might have something different. Hey family, so we have made it home from the grocery store and I just want to show you some of the things that we got for the week. Uh, and I just wanna say that I'm proud of myself because I did stick to my budget because if I stick to my budget for these next 90, 120 days, I will be a fifth wheel owner by the, by Christmas time. So I'm gonna to stick to it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm on a tight budget and I'm gonna to stick to it. So anyway, 
let me show you guys what all we got from the commissary here in Oklahoma City. And I'm going to say, like, it looked small on the outside, but the commissary was huge, and they had some really, really good deals today. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but they had the best deals in there today. Um, and uh, we went to the exchange, which we call AFIS, and it was nice as well. And I'm like, okay, Oklahoma City, come through. Come through, Oklahoma City. So let me show you guys what I got. So I had the big coffee maker, but we've been wasting water on that coffee maker. So I traded it in for a single cup coffee maker. So I got this from the exchange, and it was... $24.95 so it'll, I'm just right now cleaning it out running vinegar and water through it to clean it out before I actually use it so I'm going to run that through about three or four times and then it'll be okay now this thing takes the K cups or it will take regular coffee grounds it came with this thing so that you could put coffee grounds in here to make your single serving cup because we were just wasting way too much water making a full pot of coffee when I'm the only one that really drinks the coffee. But anyway, so I got this North Star Hazelnut Coffee. It's pretty good. Uh, you get, let me see, you get 18 single servings for $6.95. I thought that was an excellent deal. And you get um, the hot dog buns, and the hamburger buns for our cookout. And Donald's gonna need his bread for sandwiches. And this is what Donald snacks on a lot. He is just a Cheetos kind of guy. So that's what he loves. Um, I am going to be making little pizzas for myself. So I got the carb balance and I'll use this as my pizza crust because it only has three net carbs. I'm not on a full low carb diet, but I'm watching my carbs. So this will be good. Um, and then I got this pizza sauce. It was only like a dollar at the commissary. And I already have like ground sausage and stuff in the refrigerator. Now I also got this um, lettuce, this romaine lettuce. So you got, they had these on sale two for $4. So I got two. One is in the refrigerator because I'm about to make a salad right now. So that's why that's out. And then look at this thing, guys. This is called a jade watermelon, right? Super cute, super cute. Everybody <laughs> was like, look, you can see my hand? They had some even smaller. These were on sale. They're normally $5. They had them for $2. So I grabbed that. And I got my bacon so that when I make my avocado toast or my keto bread, that would be good for breakfast. All things spicy. And then we got the Chip Ahoy thing. So we'll have that. We got saltine crackers here. Donald likes to eat uh, little slices of meat with crackers sometimes as a snack, so that will be good. And then I got myself some creamer. So I'm gonna try this. I've never tried this before. So I'm gonna try this uh, Snicker creamer. And when I make my grilled chicken sam salad, this is the salad dressing that I use. And that costs a little bit more than the others but it has great qualities in the back and the carbs are not bad. It's only two net carbs on there. So that's not bad, but this is really, really good. They have a ranch flavor also. I got a few croutons. I'm not gonna use many when I make my salad, but I just have to have something crunchy in there. And then Donald got himself some no sugar cherry mixed fruit. Oh, go ahead, Don one. I'm gonna make tuna salad this week, so I got the relish for that, and then just a little sweet pea. And you gotta have the emergency cookies, right? <laughs> you gotta have the emergency cookies. And so this is the, these are the meats that we'll eat this week. So I got some chicken breast. There's two really nice thick ones in here, and I'll just cut them in half. 
when I make my salad. So these were just $2.57. And then I did show you the thick cut bacon for that. And then Donald likes bratwurst, so we'll do that. And then we'll do burgers on the grill. But as you can see, that was a really good deal. So you get 2.27 pounds, $5.90. So this is big. This will make at least six patties, if not eight. So I'll make four and freeze four. And then we'll have that a couple times this week. So that's what we did. And then I'm going to show you this junky refrigerator. I'm trying to get it in order, but I got some cherries for myself. And then down here we have peaches. So I got my peaches in there. And then I got lemon because I use lemon on pretty much everything that I cook, honestly. And there's that other bag of lettuce that I bought. This refrigerator is just so small, like I'm stuffing stuff in here. So, yeah. You can see on the door we got milk and stuff like that. So... The refrigerator is pretty small. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to stop in and say hello. So we did our exercise today. We went to the grocery store where we uh, traded in the coffee maker, stuff like that. Donald was here editing a video for the main channel to uh, go over things about this post. This post does not really offer a lot, but it is really, really nice. Um, I would not want to stay here for the winter. Well, because it's Oklahoma, that's one thing because it gets cold in the winter. So this would not be one of my choices. We're not gonna stick a pin in Oklahoma for the winter, but to me, the spaces are just a little cluttered, but it is nice. Like we, we were able to get an end slot. Let me show you guys. So we were able to get a end slot, right? So this is number 10 that we're in and it is just really, really nice. Look at that. I'm sorry guys, I couldn't get to the other side because, because I have the windows covered with all that foil stuff. So I don't wanna mess the windows up right now because we're trying to keep our trailer uh, pretty warm because yesterday, like I said, got up to 91. And right now it's reading 78. So it is starting to get hot outside. So as long as we don't get 91 like we had yesterday, I think we'll survive. But anyway, guys, thank you for stopping by. Uh, please go ahead and like the video. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe to the video. Share with your family. Invite your friends to be a part of all things Peggy. Be a part of our family. So anyway, guys, we will see you in the next video where we will be out and about to see what we can do in Oklahoma City. We passed a place that kind of looked like Six Flags almost. What was it called, Donald? Frontier. Like Frontier Park or something. It was called Frontier Park or Frontier Place or something like that. And so we're going to go by there just to see because, you know, we like to ride a few rides. I, I don't know what we're going to do, but we're just going to find out what Oklahoma has to offer. In the next few days, we'll be heading to Texas. So we're not staying here that long, but I'm telling you, this place is very peaceful. It's very, But that's the way it is. Like people really honor the nighttime. Like I, we haven't been to a place yet where people don't honor the uh, nighttime the quiet hours the quiet hours here are 10 p.m to 7 a.m i know at 370 lakeside quiet hours were from 11 p.m to 7 a.m and i thought that was pretty nice because like it's so hot outside you really don't get to go outside and listen to your music or whatever you're gonna do until like eight and then you only get a short period of time because it's, it's so hot to me so i like their hours were extended to 11 but anyway I'm in the bed by 10 anyway, so the quiet hours don't really bother me. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. No, not bye-bye. See you later.